uh, is he just gonna leave his stuff there forever? <laughs> it's a little bit strange. He really doesn't like that expansion location. So you're not freaking out with his army behind that third? You're just going to let it be? Yeah, I don't really care right now. Like, if he wants to move it out, I'll crush it. But for now... He can have that area of the map. It's pretty unimportant. Just I took the side base, so... As long as he doesn't take a third base, I'm pretty comfortable here. And he's got quite a bit of supply locked up in that army behind your natural third, so... I don't know. I'm starting to question his decision to leave that stuff there as well. Well, I'm max now, so... Time to think about killing that. There's a lot of siege tanks. Yes. And they're all unseaged. Wow. Thirty more roaches, huh? Yeah, this is a game where, you know, it was kind of a weird situation, so I feel like roaches are fine. <laughs> well, that's completely contrary to what we've been doing these past few games, so I, I'm glad we got to see it. I just felt like, you know, he attacked me so fast. Uh, I couldn't have gotten Mita's in time. So I just stick with roaches and then he left his army there, so never really a situation where I felt too good about mutilisks. Yeah. Well, I gotta say, man, it's uh it's difficult to uh to learn some of the things that uh that you demonstrate, which is just a really impeccable sense of what's going to happen almost before it happens. Yeah, I, that game was just weird. I mean, he goes to the top left of the art uh, the most important thing is when something like that happens, you should just um, stay calm. And you know, I wasn't going to defend that base. Honestly, it was probably a mistake for me to let him get there in the first place. I should have engaged him much sooner because I'm pretty sure I could have killed his army. Mm -hmm. But um, once some, something like that happens and he gets up there, I'm just like, okay. I mean, this is going to be very cost uh, like very bad for me if I attack into that. So I just pulled all my drones, took the side base, and then. You know, just keep macroing and not really get too worried about, you know, losing that expansion. I would have preferred to uh, play a Muta game, though, just because it's more standard. Yeah, I think we'll probably get this here in this next game with, uh, with Specialist. I hope. Hopefully he doesn't do something too funky. He's asking for X and C. So I'm going to remake there. No, I think we should play this map. Because Zelnaga Cavern is always going to be a little strange. Because I, I'm going to open Roaches in case he goes Hellions. And um, I think this map is better. Just for uh, more standard play. Like him doing two racks or something like that. I mean, right. Zelnaga is not that... It's just going to be a Hellion map. It's going to be more a roach heavy map, so...
I'm going to invite our other Terran to come watch with us. And make myself rough. Make this one on one. All right. So, uh, just, uh, I hope I don't get close positions. Yeah, me too. Uh, so, I mean, I just want to, I want to retouch on your decision to go roach in that game. You said, I'm going roaches because Hellions are good here. Um, so, uh, do you think it's good advice to give a Zerg player that when you're playing Zonaga Caverns that, hey, you should probably get that preemptive Roach Warren instead of that third queen? Uh, yeah, I definitely, like, depending on what your drone scout sees, if it's just going to be one Rax, um, and then what your links see, if you see a reactor going on the Rax that early, you know, either they're doing something really weird or they're just going to mass Hellions. Mm -hmm. So, um, I feel like Roaches is definitely the best option on that map against that kind of standard uh, Hellion play. Because once they get Blue Flame and, like, you, know, you saw him move out with, like, 10 Hellions, I, if I would have had Zerglings, yeah, you know, maybe Mamulus would have been done. Um, but if I played, like, 3 base with Baneling Speed and Hellions, uh, Zergling Speed, then I would have had a really hard time you know, dealing with, like, the 10 Hellions or whatever you sent me. Mm -hmm. So um, I feel like Roaches is the better option. So wh what do you do when... Um when he follows that Hellion Harass up with Banshees? Um, well, I do sacrifice Overlord, so hopefully I see it. Uh, I do get a third queen, so I should be okay against the first two. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I would be lying if I said I never lost to it on that map. But yeah. it's just something else you you got to scout for. Cool. Also, so I saw the, the fast command center that game, so I, I was... Okay. Pretty safe against. I didn't realize you'd seen that. My my overlord is like between the natural and the main on that map, so it, uh, oftentimes it gives you a, a lot of good information. So we're happy to see these positions for sure. So this should definitely be a nice standard game. Standard, as Katz says. He does have a cute accent. <laughs> What do you think about Katz's play? Uh, it's definitely very out there. <laughs> to say. Um, he does all this kinky stuff and makes it work, so respect <laughs> for him for that. What do you think of his uh, fantastic proxy hatch in base roach rush against Protoss? Um, proxy hatch like in his natural? You, you know, mean? like in the Protoss's main. <laughs> you haven't seen that? I've seen some games where he does it on the on the guy's natural, and then Sunken pushes him. Those have been very interesting. <laughs> I really enjoy watching cats. I don't know. Um, I don't know how far he's going to get as a pro playing that style, because any anytime somebody plays against him, they're looking for something crazy. But um, he is a true joy to watch play. He's awesome. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Um, from what I've seen of him, he does the most crazy stuff and makes it work. So. I wouldn't look at him for, you know, uh, a standard macro yeah. inspiration, but if you want to look for some crazy strategies, then he's definitely uh, the go-to guy. For sure. So this looks much more normal. Spine crawler's down because you're a little bit blind. Uh, are we starting that third queen? Not yet, it doesn't look like. Right now. And Ling sees mm. factory with a reactor. Reactor indeed. Well, I'm just going to use Ling's this time. Because I don't want to go Roach again. Yep. But Roach might be slightly better. So uh, you, you scouted it sort of sort of late. So even if you put that Roach horn down, you're not going to have Roaches for quite a while. Uh, is it is it um, advisable to make that roach horn, or is it better to just use those links? Hmm.
I think in this case it might be better to use links just because yeah, the roach horn was very late. But um, I would always prefer roaches normally, like. It's just much safer in case mm -hmm. he really goes hardcore on the Hellions and gets Blue Flame and all that sort of stuff, so. And you're already back to droning, which is interesting. These Hellion plays are getting so common these days, it's pretty infuriating. I hate Hellions. Yeah, they're annoying. Okay, Spire starting. Super normal stuff. I don't like my drone count in this game. You don't like your drone count. I would have. I need to get a bailing nest, but I feel like I don't have enough drones right now. That's so many Hellions. I wish I had gone Roach. No, I just gotta rely on Midas. So this push we're seeing from Terran is, is something that uh, that I've seen a bit more here lately, and you just saw it with your Ling, this uh, Marauder Hellion play. I think your choice to go Banelings is an interesting one. I won't bother you with it until you defend this, though. done. So if it was me in that situation, I would not have made Banelings. I would have used all that gas on Mutas and tried to wait for them to pop out. Um, is there is there any reason that you opted for the Banes? Do you have any special logic for us, or is it just one of those red yeah, game sense things? Um, the Mutas would have been late, and I needed something against Hellions, so Banelings are really my only option. Now, Marauder Hellion is pretty fucking sick to deal with, uh, e even with roaches. How would, how would you ideally want to respond to that? Uh, just roachling, I think. I think that's the best bet. Try to take out the Hellions first, and then try not to have your zerglings like, in a line. Yeah. Take as little damage from Splash as possible. I gotta say, you're in a pretty sweet position right now. Yeah, this always feels very good. Put it on the ret cam so we can see what you're what you're looking at. 